Um, it's Shannon, you're on my channel. Oh my, and I am going to cook for the first time. I've never tried it, so it's a new one. The family thinks we're having spaghetti tonight for supper. We are, but there's a twist to it. We're going to have taco spaghetti. So this is the first time that I've ever made taco spaghetti. In fact, I've never tried it before. So it should be very interesting. She's been wanting to try different things, you know, change the cooking up a little bit. So let me show you what we're going to use. So let me flip you around. Okay. We've got chicken broth. We've got some Rotel. Um, this one here has the green chilies in it. We've got a can of corn. We got our hamburger meat. We got our taco seasoning. We've got an onion and our spaghetti noodles. So, and then it's one pot. So this should be nice. I'm very excited about this. Um, especially if it's something that everybody likes. If they don't like it, no biggie. We'll try okay, you guys, I'm gonna turn my burner on. I'm gonna do it on about medium. Now remember, I've never done this before. I'm going by memory and a few um, ingredients that um, I've gotten. So let me put you guys over here. Yeah, maybe not. Let me go see if I can find my little thing that you get. I'll be right back. I think I got it, y'all. It's not the best, but hey, it'll work. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil. It's probably maybe a tablespoon. And then I'm going to put my onions in. Oh my gosh, this is so much easier to talk to y'all. Yeah. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of mix those around. Like so, and get that bad boy in there. You want him in there? Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper to cook with it. Okay. We're just going to mix it to where it's coated. And get it all mixed up. And we're going to let these kind of to the point caramelize, but not too much. Um, I may add the meat because the next process is to add the meat. And I may add that in before that point comes I haven't quite decided yet because like I said I've never done this dish before and I really don't want to mess it up because I didn't take a backup out for supper y'all no backup out for supper this is supper if not they'll be eating a salad or tuna fish or something okay y'all the onions aren't quite translucent but I think they're enough because they're going to cook even more with the hamburger meat. That much I do know. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my hamburger meat in just like so. And I don't have one of those. I really need to get one of those cooking utensils that just kind of turn, makes your, cut your hamburger meat up some. So we're going to get this all brown and get it going really nice. And good and I let me get this cooked up and chopped up and I will be right back okay y'all the hamburger meat is done so I'm gonna pull and I seen this this is so neat I didn't ever think about this I'm gonna try and get my meat over to the side because we need to drain the excess juice, whatever, oil. You need a paper towel and you stick it in there and it soaks it up. Oh my gosh, was that not a cool idea? I was just tickled when I seen that. Let me grab a towel real quick. But I was like, oh wow. But and look at that. 
It worked. Yay! Okay. Now, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to change my pots. I don't know. I'm going to try not to, but I think I'm going to have to. Okay. Well, I got this going. I'll, I'll know in a minute on the pots. I'm going to go ahead and add some more pepper. And then some more salt. Okay. And then I'm also going to add some garlic powder. That's just because I like garlic powder in everything. Okay. And I probably got about two maybe a pound to a pound and a half of seasoning. I've got a tablespoon and I'm just going to do one, probably four. I'll try that. Now, if you guys have made this, if you've had it before, let me know. Is there something different, different way to do this? You know, um, do you guys like it? Have you ever tried it? That would be just really awesome to know. Okay. So, I just want my meat coated with the seasoning. I'm just going to do it like I do my tacos. because I do want it to have that taste. And then also, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you do need cheese. Well, you don't have to have it, but cheese is part of it also. Okay, I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more, maybe one more tablespoon. Just one more. There we go. Okay. Then you're going to add your one can of corn. Okay. So we're going to mix that all up. And of course, you know, your corn's optional, but I'm going by the recipe that I found. So, okay. And then we're going to do one can of the Rotel. Um, it's chunky diced tomato and green chili, juice and all. We're going to put in there. Now, if you don't like Rotel, you can do diced tomatoes. Um, you know, what, oh, whatever you want. That, that's all totally up to you. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to change my, my thing. <sighs> okay, and then you need your chicken broth. So this one here is 32 ounces of chicken broth, and we're definitely going to use this all, get it all stirred in. I don't know, we may not. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks really good so far, you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, turn the burner back on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mind you guys, I never do this. But I've got to put my noodles in here. I never cook my noodles with my... I, I don't ever cook noodles like that. So this is definitely like, oh my gosh. My noodles better turn out good. So, and unfortunately... I don't like doing it, but I'm going to have to do it so you guys don't get mad. Look away if need be, if it hurts you. I don't like doing it personally, but I have to break them because they're... Well, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, they're going to have to break a little bit. Ah. 
Ah, uh, that kind of stinks. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to break them because I can't. I don't want them to mush together. So, I'm sorry. Scary. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, some are broken, some aren't. And I'm using one little bag. So, I think it's like 12 ounces is all I'm putting in there. Um, oh, my gosh. This is... I, I'm nervous about the noodles being cooked this way. I really am. Okay. I'm just going to kind of get that mixed in there. Okay, what I am going to do is I'm going to have my other chicken broth. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have my other chicken broth right here. I had to throw that one away. Um, to the side. And I'm going to add more to it because, you know, your water does thicken with your noodles. And I don't want it to get too dry. And I also don't want my noodles to stick to the bottom of the pan. I'm trying not to cut them up because we do like, I do like the, the noodle part. Noodles are my thing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, I'm going to get this going. We're going to get it to a boil and as soon as I can get that to a boil I'll come back and show you guys and then we will then I'll go through the rest of what we're supposed to do I'll be right back y'all okay I've got it it's getting hot you can kind of hear it bubbling at the bottom so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my lid I'm gonna put my lid on it and I'm gonna set my timer for 13 minutes because that is what was suggested as far as for them so I'm gonna set my timer it's set and in between I'm gonna come I'm gonna stir and check on it so I will be back okay you guys it's been 13 minutes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test a noodle and make sure that they're soft because I don't ever cook my noodles this way and it's hot and it's really hot Oh, wow. They're cooked. So we're going to turn the burner off. You can use whatever cheese suits your fancy. I've got Cheddar Jack. It has um, cheddar, ch mild cheddar, and Monterey Jack in it. And we're going to put it on top. And I turned my burner off, y'all, so... And then, we're just going to coat this with some cheese. You put however much you want. I know if I do this again, I'm going to have to get a deeper pan to cook it with. And I'm just going to use the rest of my cheese. Okay. And then I'm going to put the lid back on and we're going to let it sit for about five minutes. And I will be right back. Hey, y'all. There is what she looks like. Ooh. The cheese is nice and melted. The noodles actually turned out really good. And that's the first time I've ever cooked my noodles like that. So I was really impressed on that. So let me grab a plate. And we're going to put a little bit on. And that made a lot for everybody. Oh my gosh. You can garnish it with green onions, cilantro, you know, whatever you want on there to give it more color. I'm not going to do that. This is what it is. So hold on one second. Okay, here's the telltale. First time ever making spaghetti or taco spaghetti. So, yeah. So we want to get, I want to get a little bit of the corn, the noodles, and the meat on there. And we're going to see how it tastes. I'm scared. I hope it turns out good. Oh my gosh. I just hope the rest of the family likes it. It 
that's not bad. Okay. So let me take it in there and see if Jerry wants to take a bite and see what he thinks. It's a little mild on the flavoring, but I didn't want to go too harsh on it because of heartburn. Good. The only thing um, is the noodles ain't like spaghetti. They're kind of gooey. Yeah, it's because of how they're supposed to be cooked. Good. It? You think it'd be better if I cooked the noodles separate? No, I mean, it's fine. It's just like, it's not You're like not used to the noodles being cooked like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Hey, so, the taco spaghetti was a hit with Jerry. That's always good news. Anyways, until the next video, y'all take care. God bless and stay safe. Peace, y'all. Bye.